the air crackles. Fans roar. The anticipation is palpable, a collective heartbeat that sinks with the rhythm of the game. It's Banjo Bowl weekend in Winnipeg, a time when the city comes alive, buzzing with excitement and camaraderie. This rivalry game, Bombers versus Rough Riders, is more than just football. It's a battle of pride, a showcase of skill, and a testament to the enduring spirit of competition. It's a clash of provinces, a celebration of Canadian spirit. The energy is electric. Every play matters. Every cheer echoes. This is tradition. This is passion. This is Winnipeg. The colors, the chants, the unity, it's all part of the spectacle. The Banjo Bowl represents the spirit of Winnipeg. Hardworking, dedicated, full of heart. It's a reflection of the city's resilience and its unwavering support for its team. It's a city that rallies around its own. From the tailgates to the final whistle, the community stands united. A place where neighbors become family. Bonds are forged in the shared experience of the game, creating memories that last a lifetime. And in the stands of IG Field, that family comes together. The stadium becomes a second home, a place where everyone belongs. To cheer, to celebrate, to feel the highs and lows together as one, to be a part of something bigger than themselves. It's more than a game. It's a shared journey, a collective dream, and a testament to the power of community. For decades, one voice has been synonymous with Winnipeg sports, Ted Wyman. A fixture at the Winnipeg Sun, Ted's words painted pictures of the games. His passion resonated with readers. He wasn't just reporting, he was storytelling, bringing the athletes, the plays, the emotions to life. Ted had a knack for finding the human side of sports, the dedication, the heartbreak, the triumphs. He connected with athletes and fans alike. His writing was more than just box scores and game summaries. It was a reflection of the city itself, honest, genuine, full of heart. Life, like sports, has its unexpected turns. Just when you think you have the game figured out, something changes the play. For Ted, that turn came in the form of a cancer diagnosis. It was a moment that would redefine his life and test his spirit, a battle he faced with the same courage and determination he brought to his writing. Ted was not just a sports journalist. He was a storyteller, a fighter, and a beacon of hope. The news rippled through the community, sending shockwaves that were felt by everyone who knew him. Ted was more than a journalist. He was a friend, a mentor, and an inspiration. Concern and support poured in from all corners. Fans, friends, and even strangers rallied around him, showing their love and solidarity in countless ways. Ted, always the professional, continued to write. His work became a testament to his resilience a way to channel his strength and share his journey. His words, now more than ever, carried a weight of resilience. Each article, each sentence, was imbued with a deeper meaning, a reflection of his inner battle and unwavering spirit. The press box felt different without him. His absence was palpable, a stark reminder of the void left by his struggle, a void where his voice and laughter once filled the room. His desk, once a hub of activity and creativity, now stood silent. But even in his absence, his presence was felt. His spirit lingered in the memories, the stories, and the hearts of those who knew him. In the stories being told, his legacy lived on. His articles continued to inspire, to motivate, and to remind everyone of the power of resilience. In the spirit of the games, his passion and dedication were remembered. Every cheer, every huddle, echoed his love for the sport and his unwavering spirit. In the hearts of those who knew him, Ted's fight was a symbol of hope and strength. His journey, though fraught with challenges, was a testament to the human spirit's capacity to endure and inspire. 
The banjo bowl arrived. The energy was high, but a somber note hung in the air. Ted's seat in the press box remained empty, a poignant reminder of his battle, a symbol of support from the Winnipeg Blue Bombers, a message that transcended the game itself. This empty seat spoke volumes. It spoke of respect, of admiration, of love for a man who dedicated his life to sharing their stories. It was a powerful gesture, a testament to the impact Ted had on the team and the entire city. Section 5. Messages of Support. The Team Rallies. The atmosphere was electric, filled with anticipation and hope. Players and coaches sent messages of support. Words of encouragement flowed like a river, each message carrying a piece of their hearts. Expressions of gratitude for Ted's years of dedication. They remembered the countless times he stood by them, capturing their essence. They understood the power of his words. His ability to inspire and uplift was unmatched, and they felt it deeply. The way he captured their stories, their struggles, their victories. Ted had a unique gift of turning moments into memories. He wasn't just a reporter, he was a part of the team. His presence was a source of strength and unity. We're all behind you, Ted. The entire community rallied, showing their unwavering support. Get well soon, your words inspire us. Each message was a testament to the impact Ted had on their lives. Fighting with you every step of the way. They trained harder, played stronger, all in his honor. These messages, filled with sincerity and hope, echoed throughout the stadium. The walls seemed to vibrate with their collective energy. A reminder that even in the face of adversity, the power of community shines through. Together they were unstoppable, united by a common cause. Section 6. A Community United. Strength in Togetherness. The empty seat at the banjo bowl became a symbol of something larger. It represented the unwavering support of a community rallying around one of their own. It spoke to the power of human connection, the strength we draw from each other in times of need. Winnipeg, a city known for its resilience and spirit, came together to support Ted. Fundraisers were organized. Messages of hope flooded social media. The community embraced him, reminding him that he wasn't alone in his fight. The legacy of Ted Wyman extends far beyond the press box. He embodied the spirit of Winnipeg. Hard work, dedication, a love for the game and the city it brought together. He taught us the power of storytelling, the importance of community, the strength we find in each other. His fight became a source of inspiration, a reminder that even in the face of adversity, the human spirit perseveres. His story transcended sports, becoming a testament to the power of hope, resilience, and the unwavering support of a community. Sports have a unique ability to unite, to bring people together from all walks of life, to create a shared experience. In that shared experience, we find common ground, we celebrate victories together, we offer support during setbacks. The banjo bowl, with its empty seat, became a symbol of that unity. A reminder that even in the midst of rivalry, there is room for compassion and support. It highlighted the power of sports to transcend the game itself and touch the lives of those beyond the field. As the final whistle blew at the banjo bowl, Ted Wyman's presence was felt throughout the stadium in the cheers of the fans, in the camaraderie of the players, in the hearts of everyone who knew him. His fight continues, and so does the unwavering support of the Winnipeg community. We raise a glass to Ted, to his unwavering spirit, to his impactful words, to his enduring legacy. May his story continue to inspire us all to embrace the power of community to find strength and togetherness, and to never give up hope. Life, like a football game, has its final whistle. But the impact we make, 
The connections we forge, the stories we leave behind, those echo long after the game is over. Ted Wyman's story is far from over. It's a story of resilience, of community, of the enduring power of the human spirit. And so we say, not goodbye, but until we meet again, Ted, your words continue to inspire us. Your spirit continues to unite us, and your legacy will forever be etched in the